Hello there. This is MD, here with you on everything PS. Here we go. We are in a new tutorial. In this Premiere Pro tutorial. I am gonna show you. How to turn landscape video into portrait video. In Premiere Pro. With just one click with a very simple effect. If you are interested. Stay tuned. After opening Premiere Pro. Make sure you are in the Effects Workspace. By going to the Window menu. Workspaces. And choose. Effects. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Here on Windows. Alt plus Shift plus 8. And if you are on Mac OS. It will be. Option plus Shift plus 8. Now. Import your landscape video to Premiere Pro. And drag the clip to the sequence. Let's see the video first. Now, go to the Sequence menu. Sequence Settings. Inside the Sequence Settings dialog box. In the Video section. For the frame size. Make the horizontal value. 1080. And the vertical value. 1920. Then click OK. And OK again. Let's take a look. Nice. Now, let's add our effect. Go to the Effects panel. And if you can't see it, go to the Window menu. And choose. Effects. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut for it. Shift plus 7. And go over here. And start typing. Auto. In the search bar. And then. Click on this icon here. And here is our effect. Drag it to our clip. Now. As you can see. The effect starts to analyze for auto reframe. Wait until it finishes. Now, let's see the result. Cool, isn't it? Now let's go to the Effect Controls panel to control our effect and see what we can do. And if you can't see the Effects Control panel, Go to the Window menu. And choose. Effect Controls. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut for it. Shift plus 5. This is our effect. Auto Reframe. Here inside the Motion Tracking drop down menu. You have their option. Default. Slower Motion. And Faster Motion. Let's see the effect of each one of them. Are you seeing the result?
Now, let's try the effect with another clip with the same steps. Now, let's export our clip. Go to the File menu, Export, and choose Media. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut for it. Here on Windows, Ctrl plus M, and it will be Command plus M on Mac OS. In the Export Settings dialog box, in the Format drop-down menu, make sure you are selecting H264. And the preset drop down menu. Make sure you are selecting Match Source. High Bitrate. And for the output name, click on this blue word here to select the path that you want to save your video in. I think I leave mine here. Also, you can change your video name from here too. Then click Save. And if you want the best quality, make sure to check this option. Render at maximum depth. And check also. Use maximum render quality. And in the bitrate settings. Change the bitrate encoding to. VBR, 2 passes. Then finally. Hit export. Here we go. We are done. Let's see the final result. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. And if you are interested in Adobe After Effects, take a look at our second channel, Saskiano. See you next time.